Jackson, do you like bento lunches? What's your bento lunch? And you're about to find out. <laughs> Pinterest moms, what are they and why am I talking about them today? Well, let me tell you, a Pinterest mom is a rare breed of mother who is just like the most extra. So she's that mom who makes the homemade birthday party favors at every party. She's that mom who home cooks every meal. She's the mom whose cleaning products in her home are all made from scratch. This is like the complete opposite of everything I'm used to and the way I am as a parent, but I wanna give it a shot. I wanna try something new. So for one week, I'm going to be a Pinterest mom. I'm not going to be able to quit my job or like stop all my other responsibilities, but in all my free time, I'm going to act as if I was a Pinterest mom and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm trolling Pinterest and today is Sunday, so I'm going to take full advantage of that and the fact that I don't go to work and do three activities. I'm going to find a food, a DIY for my kids to play with, and a DIY to better my household. Jackson! Hi! Hi! Thank you. This lunch took me about half an hour to make. Uh, I tried to do the puzzle piece sandwich, which doesn't really work. So having kids of two different ages, uh, five and two, a lot of these Pinterest things that I spent a lot of time on were completely lost on Wyatt. He's like two years old, he doesn't care. So 30 minutes on this lunch and this is what's left. <sighs> But Jackson was another story. The puzzle pieces. Oh, you saw the puzzle pieces? Yeah. Oh my gosh, worth it. But yeah, it was nice to see that he was interacting with a lot of the stuff that I was making. It was sweet. So now I'm going to make these popsicles I saw that look super easy on Pinterest. It says you just mix Sprite and gummy bears in a popsicle mold and it makes these really cute, clear popsicles with gummy bears in them. Okay, I'm on my third task, and it is DIY garbage disposal pods, because apparently you need these to keep your garbage disposal smelling fresh. These seem fairly easy. I actually found them from Nifty on <laughs> Facebook, uh, and so if Nifty can do it, I can do it. <laughs> I don't understand how people find the hours of the day to do all of this. So this is my a uh, garbage disposal pod mixture. It's like kind of sticky. And then I'm just gonna pack it into this silicone ice cube mold and I guess it takes 24 hours for these to like dry. So I can't use them till tomorrow. The final Pinterest craft for today is making your own fun shaped crayons. Yay! I don't understand this one, but basically you buy a pack of crayons, like regular crayons, and then break them up and combine the colors and put them in a silicone baking mold. And don't forget to take the paper off. Don't, do not forget to take the paper off. Speaking of my kids, anytime I did one of these projects, I'd turn around and there'd be a giant freaking mess behind me because my back was turned for so long and I was distracted for so long. My kids would take every opportunity to like do whatever they wanted. Okay, these are done. Uh, they look very questionable. I do not understand these. Like just give your kid a pack of crayons. We spent $6 on a silicone mold and 45 minutes making these. Okay, we're on day three and I tried using one of these uh, garbage disposal pods and they are completely crumbling and they don't work so I did something wrong. And also uh, I need to go to work so I'm failing at making their bento lunches because it's either make that or get dressed for work. And I need to show up for work in clothes, I think that's important. So. <laughs> today. So why didn't I just get up a little bit earlier to get all this stuff done? Well, I already get up very early to go to work and I work pretty far away from where I live. So my commute is three hours total. Uh, but it wasn't all bad. I'll say this, you know, if I didn't work full time, I can totally understand how that can be really exciting to do and really fun to do. And you can take the time to incorporate your kids into a lot of these crafts and a lot of these projects. So I totally forgot about these popsicles I'd made with the gummy bears and Sprite. 
and first they uh, completely exploded all over the freezer. I don't know if you can tell, but they're dripped all over. Oh man, it all got in the bottom. Oh, that doesn't look anything like the picture. That looks awesome. You like it? Taste it. How does it taste? That's that's kind of a fail. Mm, that's good. Those popsicles were a giant fail, and then I realized after. Turns out that's a picture of soap. It's not even a freaking popsicle. It's soap. It's a bar of soap. That's why it's so clear, because it's glycerin. So per usual, it's day four. Day four, and I'm super, super late for work. I don't have time to make bento lunches, but I bought a Nutribullet, and I'm gonna make my kids a green smoothie this morning, so I hope that counts. By like the fourth day, I really got the hang of the Nutribullet, and that was really, really helpful. That was the one like useful thing that came out of this week. Thank goodness I found that because it really was coming down to like, do I put on a shirt or do I slice this bread? Like, I, I need to decide right now. Okay, day six, I got it together. I made lunches. Um, I'm super, super, super late for work and I have a 9.30 a.m. meeting, so I hope I'm not late for that. And that's all I got today so far. Okay, so it is the final day. Oh my God, thank goodness. So tonight I'm gonna make panda-shaped macaroons. They seem to be like the most complicated thing I've found on Pinterest. Figured I'd end with a bang. Uh, this has been quite a journey. Uh, and then I just realized I don't know where my electric beaters are. So this is gonna be really fun trying to whisk eggs by hand. I beat those things with a whisk for 45 minutes. I'm so tired. But they worked. I like piped them out of a Ziploc bag. I like decorated them out of a Ziploc bag. I like smacked the pan on the floor to like try to get out the air bubbles, which is something I guess you're supposed to do. It was like completely like MacGyvered. Everything was totally not the way it's supposed to. They're actually kind of cute. Look. I haven't actually fed them to my kids yet. I just like ate them in the middle of the night and that was that. <laughs> it was worth it. Treat yourself, am I right? So in conclusion, uh, I learned a lot this week and I gained a lot of respect for Pinterest moms and moms in general. Uh, before, when I would see Pinterest crafts or like think about the moms who did that sort of stuff, I'd just kind of do a giant eye roll and like disregard it as something stupid. But I learned this week that it really is worth it. It's fulfilling and it's fun and I really wish I could be more like that. So definitely an overall learning experience, not something I'm gonna be doing ever again in the near future, but it was fun for that week. Uh, and tune in to see what I do next. Till next time. Does it make you wanna eat it? It's a Batman. It's a Batman cheese? Uh, sure. Oh yeah.